Hey everyone, I am super excited because today is race day. Uh, we are racing five inch drones in Olympia, Washington. We're gonna be on this track you can see behind me right here and I am super excited about this. It's a big deal for me because I have not been to any race since like the summer before COVID. It's been way too long and so I've been looking forward to this opportunity and this is the multi-GP qualifier track. And so I'm hoping to put in some good times. I know I'm not gonna be the fastest. I've got a lot of rust to shake off, but I'm hoping to do that today, hoping to have a good time. And yeah, let's get flying. Oh yeah. Look at that battery line up. Yep. <laughs> Dean is prepared. Our Olympia FPVs 2021 multi-GP. Woo, woo. Global qualifier. Boy, that's a mouthful. Uh, before we get started, we went over some rules, safety stuff, the schedule, and then we'll do a track walk. You'll take off and go through the start finish gate. So, out of the start finish gate, top gate on the double. And you're just going to fly it <laughs> like that. So, you come around, you split us. You come through this way and then you U-turn into the next gate. Okay. That makes sense to everyone? The fact that this is a qualifier means that this is a standardized track. Every flag, every gate has been placed and measured exactly to specification. And that way other clubs all over the world can set up exactly the same track. And when we get the official times and post them online, we can compare against other places. And that online leaderboard is how people advance to the championship. So wish me luck. One, two. And three. All right, pilots, arm your quads. We're going live on the tone in less than five. Swiss is gonna take the early start there. Let's hear it, Ian. Ian is super fast. He's way faster than me. What did you get in practice? 38. 38. And what is that for fastest lap? 12.7. Uh, 12.7. <laughs> fastest lap in practice with no warm up. What are you hoping to do for the actual qualifier? High 10s, low 11s. That's insane. Yeah. Totally insane. <laughs> Good luck. Practice is done. Time to make it count. We need some spotters over here for Q2. That's going to be. Shutterbug, Swish, and Scrap Heap going to be spawned for us. The Kid and Groovy still battling it out right now through our corkscrew. Still just about a gate behind. Looks like the Kid's got a, about a gate lead right now. Working through that double section. Look at these quads go. Working through our second double over the hurdle. Into the flag section and the corkscrew. The Kid still going to be... Alright, I just finished my first official qualifying round, which means I've already got some times in the books. And the way that this works is it's your fastest three consecutive laps. So the total time for three consecutive laps, the shortest time you can get for that puts you on the leaderboard. So on this round, I got 57.5 seconds total for three. So that's three laps all under 20 seconds. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm just trying to clean up my lines and make it more and more consistent. And throughout the day, I'm hoping to kind of bring that number down gradually. And also throughout the day, I'll be able to fly more and more aggressively. Right now, I don't want to ruin all my gear until I get some good times in the books. So three rounds in, what kind of times do you get? Um, my fastest top three consecutive right now is a 44 eight, I believe. That's good. Yeah, it's pretty good for the first time back in a while. I know, there's a bunch of us who haven't flown much. Awesome, yeah. you having fun? Yeah. Okay. We got four quads on the line. Let's see some thumbs for good video. One, two, three, and four. Thanks for the quick thumbs. Oh, All right, pilots. We got a spotter here for tiny eyes. Let's get ready, pilots. Arm your quads. We are going live on the tone in less than five. Whole shot's gonna go to Swish, followed by half fast, Earl J and tiny eyes. Looking at Swiss right now, working through the first part of his lap into the corkscrew. Let's see where this puts him. Swish 19.8. Show me the damage. 
Yeah, it fits over there. What? Look at that PVC destroyed so, by quadcopter. That's the one inch too. I've broken three quarter inch a lot, but not the one inch. The rule is if a gate goes down, the heat ends and we redo it. All right, let's lift this sucker back up. Lucky for Gordon, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Gordon crashed early. He's gonna be happy with that. Track is fixed, so we're gritting back up. Let's try this again. Just a test here. <laughs> Well, any round that ends with me in the landing circle is a good round. If you wanna see what I'm flying, here is my primary build. It's a Floss 3.0 frame. I built this one recently because I had a Floss 3 before and I liked it, so I wanted to have interchangeable parts. And these two builds are pretty much identical in how they fly. They've got the same tune. They've got the same 55 degree camera up tilt because of this 3D printed mount that I stuck in there. They are different cameras though because this one is sporting shark bite and it's awesome. I've never had video this good at a race. Even when I fly shark bite by myself, uh, my video sometimes isn't this good. So I don't know why, but it was great. Video was not a problem at all. I mean, I'm not the fastest pilot out there, but video was not holding me back. But if I had to switch to this one, it would be totally fine because like I said, they fly exactly the same. This shark bite video transmitter is the one that's shaped like a whoop flight controller. I've used this on my other builds and I'm using it again here. They do make one now that's designed for racing and it's got a 20 by 20 mounting pattern. It's a little bit longer, but it would fit fine in this frame. There's plenty of room in this frame. Uh, but I'm using this one because it's like 50 bucks instead of 90 bucks. So it's a great deal for this transmitter. I just had to find a way to mount it on there. So what I did was designed this 3D printed mount. It's just pressure fit onto the screws and the top part here, you have to bend it to get the video transmitter in, but that's no problem. The channel on the bottom here is for the antenna and the MIPI cable come out through that, pushes in, and of course it can't pop out because it's got the top plate right here. If you can see this little antenna here and here, that is Express LRS I'm using now for my radio link. I've got the Happy Model uh, transmitter back here in my radio. I think I've got the Happy Model in this one and the Beta FPV receiver in this one, and both of those are working great. I've got these actually running at 500 hertz input on uh, my controller, which is awesome. But if you run 500 hertz, it does create more noise. And so you gotta do some special sauce with the filtering. I've been working with Chris Thompson, uh, Betaflight dev, uh, and these are both running a custom build of Betaflight 4.3 that we tuned out together with some black box. So I wanna tell you more about that in a future video, stay tuned. Uh, but these things are flying awesome and I have not had any problem with the link. One second for top 20, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Gordon's got his quad back on the bench. Well, yeah, dude. It's oil popper. Broke another, well, first I broke a motor, then I broke an arm. So, I'm over here repairing. Which probably broke the motor wires. And running. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Well, we have completed... <clears throat>
Oh, ouch. Uh, well, we've completed seven out of the 10 rounds. We're more than halfway through. I've improved my time some. I'm now at 53.6 for the total time of three laps. That's a nice improvement, but with the last few rounds, I am hoping to improve it a little bit more. But man, it is getting hot out here. And if you notice how the sun looks kind of orange, that's because of smoke from wildfires blowing into the area. Uh, it's pretty unfortunate, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday, so I'm thankful for that. All right, moving on to Q9, number three. What'd you get? 37.7. 37.7. How much faster is it? Point one. Point one. Point one seconds. Point one seconds yeah. faster. Hey, we'll take it. Nice. Well, no luck that round. I crashed out right away, even with the whole track to myself. That's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, but what a fun day of racing. I am so thankful to be here, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you.